If a subset is in our collection, then its complement is not in the collection. So let's make a list of disjoint subsets. For example, if the subset containing one is in our collection, then the subset containing two, three, four, and five is not in the collection, and so on, for each subset with one element. There are five disjoint pairs of subsets with one element and four elements. If our collection contains a subset with elements one and two, for example, it will not contain the subset with elements three, four, and five, and so on for each subset that contains two elements. There are five choose two or 10 such disjoint pairs. Let's try a simple example where our collection includes a subset containing one element, for example, one. This means that our collection will not contain any other subsets that also contain one element because none of those other subsets are gonna overlap with one. So let's look at the valid subsets that contain two elements. They're also gonna have one. So the subsets that have one, two through one, five, there are four of those. The subsets with three elements will all contain one in them and two other numbers chosen from the four remaining. So that's four choose two or six subsets with three elements. The subsets with four elements, where one of those elements is one, there are four choose three for the remaining three elements in that subset, or four subsets. And the subset with all five elements can also be part of our collection. Counting the number of subsets in our collection, we have this first one with one element. It overlaps with these four, these six, four, and one, for a total of 16 subsets which is what we want according to the problem statement. So let's count the number of collections that include a subset with only one element. There are five ways to choose that one element subset. So the number of collections of this type is five. Let's see if we can build a collection that does not include a subset with just one element. So let's start with a collection that has one subset with two elements and without loss of generality, and let's say that subset has elements one and two for two elements. Counting the number of subsets, we'll start with our first one. If we look up here at the number of subsets with three elements, we see that we can include all of them except for this first one, three, four, five, because it doesn't have any elements in common with one, two. There are a total of 10 here, so we can include all 10 except for that first one. All of the subsets with four elements and there are five of them, are gonna overlap with at least one of our elements in our subset one, two. So I'll include all five of them. And the subset that includes all five elements, we can include that here as well. This again gives us 16 subsets, so like, let's count the number of collections that look like this. There is a unique collection for each subset with two elements chosen from five. So that's five choose two unique collections. Let's look at collections that have two subsets that contain two elements. These two subsets need to have an overlapping pair. So without loss of generality, let's say it's one comma two and one three. And let's see what are the valid subsets with three elements or more. The total number of subsets are gonna be these two that we start with. And as before, we can use all 10 of these subsets with three elements except for the ones that are disjoint with these two subsets, so we'll subtract two. We can use all five of the subsets that have four elements and the one subset that has all five elements, again for 16 subsets, so that's successful. Let's count the number of collections that look like this. We'll count this by choosing the number of ways of choosing an element in common, one, two, three, four, or five, and then we choose two more elements to be the second element in each of our two subsets. From the remaining four numbers, we choose two. This is gonna give us 30 unique collections. Let's try three subsets that have one element in common. For example, we could have one, two, one, three, and one, four. Let's count the number of subsets. It's gonna be these three and all of the disjoint subsets, except for the ones that correspond to these three, plus the five and the one, and again, we get 16. Counting the number of collections, we'll count the number of ways of choosing our common element among our three sets. That's five, choose one. And then of the remaining four numbers, 
We choose three of them to pair up with the one for 20 unique collections. If we're clever, we'll notice that our three subsets can have an element in common, but pairwise. So our three subsets with two elements might look, for example, like this. One, two, one, three, and two, three. These all have pairwise an element in common. And again, the number of subsets are these three, plus the disjoint subsets, except for the three that correspond to these. We can use all five of the subsets of length four, and then our last subset with five elements. Let's count the number of collections. We're gonna choose three of our five elements and group them pairwise. That's gonna give us 10 more unique collections. Let's see if we can get four subsets with two elements. So for example, one, two, one, three, one, four, and one, five. And we count these four plus the valid disjoint subsets plus the five and the one. Again, gives us 16. The number of collections is just the number of ways of choosing our element that's in common to all four of these subsets and there are five of them. We can't have five subsets with two elements because whatever we choose to be our fifth subset is not going to overlap with one of these four. Let's see if we can have no subsets with one or two elements. So without loss of generality, for example, let's see if we can build our collection starting with one, two, three. This subset with three elements is gonna have an overlap with every other subset with three elements. So all of these can be in our collection. That's five choose three or 10 subsets. All of our subsets with four elements are gonna be in the collection. That's five more. And all of the subsets with five elements, one more. Adding these again, we get 16 subsets. This gives us one more collection. We'll total these up. We have five, 10, 30, 20, 10, five, and one. And our answer is 81. If you'd like me to solve any other contest problems, please leave them in the comments.